my immune system is my enemy. There are days that I cannot leave my bed. I have ankylosing spondylitis. My struggle is more than just aches or pains. I always had this very blunt, very persistent pain in my lower back. And it really affected me because at that point of time, I was training very competitively. Because of that, I wasn't able to train properly. There was this time where the pain was so bad in the morning that I couldn't even get up from bed. Like, I couldn't even roll over to my side. So I actually had to use my phone to, to call my mum to help me uh, sit up from bed. Clement was actually seeing one of my colleagues for some shoulder pain. And at that time, this colleague suspected it was more than just shoulder pain and uh, ran some tests which suggested uh, he might have engrossing spondylitis. AS is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system, which normally fights infection, instead attacks various organs, in particular the spine, other joints, and occasionally uh, the eyes. There is currently no known cause for ankylosing spondylitis. Patients at risk would include patients who are genetically susceptible. For example, they have the HLA B27 gene, or they have a known family member who has ankylosing spondylitis. This group of patients may be at increased risk of developing ankylosing spondylitis in future. There are currently many treatment options available for ankylosing spondylitis. Exercise as well as regular physiotherapy is a must for patients. To relieve pain and stiffness, we often use oral medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents, commonly known as NSAIDs. Newer therapies will include biological agents. Biologics are medications that target specific substances that cause inflammation. Biologics are safe and very effective in the treatment of ankylosing spondylitis. The treatment has helped Clement in many ways. I think our treatment is fairly broad and it includes understanding more about his condition. Clement also was very diligent with the course of physiotherapy that was prescribed and also with the medications that were given to him. And I think all of these working together helped to improve his condition significantly and he was able to continue competitive swimming and won medals at both the Asian and Sea Games. AS really is more painful in the morning because the joints are really stiff. So it, it gets better throughout the day and especially with exercise. So I think exercise makes it a lot more manageable. Uh, so through the medication and treatment, the pain has actually become a lot more manageable. Like, although there is this, still this very blunt and uh, slight lower back pain, but then I don't get uh, those flares as much. Because yeah, the flares are the, really the ones that cause me a lot of pain. I think I don't live very much differently from a normal person actually. I go about my daily life as any other normal person would. The long-term prognosis for patients with ankylosing spondylitis is generally good, especially if they are treated early in their disease. There are many patients who go on to do well in their careers. For example, they are in the army, they are firemen. You should see a doctor if you are below the age of 45 and have chronic lower back pain for more than three months. Do seek medical attention early. My immune system is my enemy. There are days that I cannot leave my bed. I have ankylosing spondylitis. But that will not stop me. Rheumatological diseases can strike people in the prime of their lives. More than just aches and pains caused by aging, these are complex autoimmune diseases. Some of these diseases can affect major organs, including the joints, brain and nerves, heart and blood vessels, lungs, kidneys and skin, causing serious complications that can be life-threatening. In 2004, I started having some joint pains and stiffness in the joints. I can't go out in a strong sunlight. 
I have to visit the hospital frequently and I have to take at least uh, seven types of medication daily. All along I thought I was having uh, rheumatism inherited from my mother. I have been taking Panadol to relieve pain. When my pain goes away, I stop my medication and after a few months, the pain came back. It was so unbearable and uh, you know, no one can touch me. I wasn't able to concentrate on my work due to the reflux and heartburns. My fingers got too dry and it cracked by itself that I was admitted to the hospital. I start having backache and fatigue, feeling fatigue in the morning. I have to put in a lot more effort in doing daily routine uh, activities. I used to have constant knee pain. Every time I walk a short distance, I will have the pain even worse. The longer I walk, the worse it becomes. Research is important to develop uh, effective treatment uh, so that uh, lupus can be cured one day. As a first patient of scleroderma going through the stem cell transplant, I believe this research has helped me and my family um, in giving us more options to seek what kind of treatments and support that I should receive. Hope they can continue with the research, help us, patients like us, so that they can find the cause of our problem and get it, get our life back as normal. Existing treatment options are limited and in some cases, symptoms can only be managed. Hence, it is vital that we hasten efforts to better understand rheumatological diseases and accelerate the discovery of new treatments and cures. With your help, we can reach our goals faster. The new Autoimmunity and Rheumatology Centre, ARC, is the first of its kind in the region. The ARC aims at providing a one-stop service in managing rheumatological diseases. Our team of clinician scientists collaborate with researchers within Singapore and internationally to discover new treatments and cures. Our team's key milestones include multiple department staff being awarded the coveted Singh Health Clinician Scientist Accolade, developing an ever-increasing electronic research database of over 5,000 patients to track disease progression and trends, publishing extensively in high-impact factor scientific journals, performing stem cell transplant, Spurred on by a desire to do more for our patients, we aim to raise $3 million over the next two years and over $12.5 million in the next 10 years to research for new treatments and cures. As a research coordinator, I work with doctors and patients to ensure that research is conducted in compliance with guidelines and regulations. The high quality of medical care we enjoy today is the result of years of medical research. It is only through ongoing research can better treatments and cures be developed. Partner with us in discovering new treatments and uncovering cures for patients with rheumatological diseases. Together, we can beat rheumatological diseases.